subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss a mind body spirit video hello everybody my name is soyash you are watching mind body spirit today we are going to talk about a technique or a concept whatever you want to call it which is first of all extremely powerful and secondly whether you believe in the law of attraction or not so you may be actively and deliberately applying the law of attraction in your life or you may heard about the law of attraction you are not yet applying it you don't believe in it whatever any situation that you are in this technique will help you i highly recommend you because i have tried this technique i started applying it recently i have seen immense results because of it i highly recommend you to try it as well for just a week or 10 days or 15 days and then notice the difference and if you like it then continue with it and i am sure i can guarantee it that you will like it and that you will continue with it and so before going into the actual technique let me run you by the science why this technique works so a lot of people that come across the law of attraction ask us what is the science behind it right so i am happy to first start with the science behind this particular technique there is this very famous study that you also may have come across recently which states that when we actually recall a memory we don't recall that instance that memory itself but we recall the last recollection that we had and so what that means is that the memory keeps on getting distorted with every recollection and so maybe i'm trying to recall an event that has 100 memory elements as a part of it just an example you know 100 things small and big about that particular event that i remember what will happen is maybe i will remember all the major parts but one small part will get slightly distorted and then the next time when i recollect it that distortion will actually seem real to my mind because i will not be recollecting the actual event and so that distortion will not be corrected in my second recollection in fact the first recollection will be repeated and in fact the possibility is that maybe one or two more things will be distorted and so when we recall an event multiple times what happens is that it is possible that once we have recalled it several times maybe a major chunk of that memory has got distorted in our mind and so what we remember is not the actual event but the distortions that have actually taken place in our mind and that is something absolutely true you can google that read about it yourself and that is why i'm sure that it must have happened with you as well it has happened with me sometimes not many times but i can recall three or four times when this has happened with me that somebody asked me something and i was so sure when i answered them i was so sure that what i'm telling them is actually true but when i saw maybe somewhere that i had written about that thing that they were asking me about i realized that hey what i told them was completely wrong how did this happen because i was so sure that what i'm telling them is right now what had happened was that my memory kept on getting distorted again and again and again now when we talk about distortion we think that it is something really bad you know why is it getting distorted why are we not able to remember stuff as they were and you're right it is uh, you know if it can be rectified it would be perfect but when it comes to bad memories when it comes to memories that we don't want to remember this can actually serve us because we can distort it and so this is the science behind the technique that i actually uh, thought of just one evening you know i was just doing nothing i read about this uh, particular research and i thought that hey why not create a technique and why not try this i tried it it has had a major impact on uh, how i perceive the day that i have just had and as a result how my next day actually manifests now the second thing that i just want to tell you before we go to the actual technique is something that you must have experienced a lot and that is we may have we may be annoyed at a particular person we may be very irritated at a particular situation why that happens is it probably started as a very mild irritation a very mild annoyance but it kept getting repeated again and again and again that person says the same thing again and again that person does the same thing again and again that irritates me so much and so what started as a very mild irritation kept on piling up you know kept on building upon itself and that actually led to this major irritation or a major annoyance in our lives and so one more thing that i just wanted to say is everything is about degree something of a very small degree when it keeps on combining upon itself that increases in degree okay now let's come to the actual technique what i want you to do when you are just about to go to sleep when you are done with the day when you are just at your home relaxed you don't have to answer any more phone calls you don't have to meet any more people then what you should do is just sit down and close your eyes and just rewind your entire day you know i mean rewind to the uh, beginning of the day and then play your entire day in your memory 
just don't play it as it happened play it as you want it to happen you know if you met a person and that person said something and you sort of got irritated at him and then later on you thought that i shouldn't have been irritated you know had i been more cheerful about this situation the conversation would have gone a lot differently and now now is your time you know when you are at the end of the day sitting down closing your eyes you are recollecting that event visualize that event happening in the most ideal way that you can imagine it okay and similarly do it for every significant event that took place in your day right so maybe there was this person that uh, passed by while you were driving and he was so annoying you know he was uh, driving in the most annoying manner possible just visualize that you were driving by and the road was so wonderful the traffic was so good and in fact this random stranger came to you and gave you a bouquet of these beautiful flowers you know just visualize something like that as if you had the most perfect day and you know what you are doing what you are doing is number 1 something that would have mildly just mildly irritated you but that had the potential of building up into something much more building up into a negative thought process about a person about a situation you have actually removed that from its very root that mild irritation has now been removed because if you keep following this technique day after day after day what you are going to recollect about that person what you are going to recollect about that event is not exactly what happened on that one day that made you so annoyed what you will recollect is something really good and as you keep practicing it it keeps becoming more and more stronger that is something that i have actually experienced and maybe at the beginning you know in my own experience for the first couple of days i didn't really feel anything you know uh, i did this exercise i felt good while visualizing my perfect day but then i opened my eyes and i was like you know this was make believe it actually didn't happen like that you know and then maybe i read a book and then i went to sleep the next morning it was no different but then as i kept doing that with practice maybe 4 5 days what happened was that i i i felt much lighter and i realized that the baggage that i was carrying every morning at the very beginning of the day the baggage of the past the baggage of the recent past the past few days that i was carrying was becoming lighter and lighter and lighter and maybe after 10 or 12 days it was completely gone i was much happier at the beginning of every day and that had a huge impact on how my day went and from the standpoint of the law of attraction this is an absolutely absolutely miraculous exercise i have noticed that in the few days in the few weeks that i have actually been doing this you know sometimes what happens is it feels like you're really in the zone you know whatever i'm thinking is just happening i think of a person that person calls me i think of a food item somebody offers me that food item to eat and i'm like manifesting left right and center i realize that this starts happening as a result of doing this exercise every day consistently and so from a law of attraction perspective if you are actually removing all the bad things all the negative things that happened throughout your day you are in effect removing so much resistance good may be coming our way but you know if we are continuously irritated and annoyed it stops good from coming into our life because we attract what we are thinking the kind of frequency that we are emitting and so if we can reduce the irritation reduce the annoyance that we have in our life of course we will manifest just like i said i did and my experience with this exercise guys it has been absolutely miraculous i highly recommend you to try this once you have tried it for a couple of days or maybe for a week come back to this video watch this video once again and leave a comment down below what are your experiences about this technique and so that's all for this video if you liked it please hit the like button also do share this video with your friends and family that are also applying the law of attraction any comments or feedback please use the comment section down below make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell button to be notified about my new videos i will see you very soon with a brand new video till then bye bye